Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Rishabh and I work at Amazon as a research analyst. And today, it's your lucky day. We're going to be looking at on how we can convert a .py Python script file into a Windows executable .exe application. Now you might wonder, why do we even need to do that? I mean, we are all techies. We work, we work on computers all the time. Why cannot we just go to the command prompt? Change to the place where a file is located. Again, change to the folder where the file is located. Let's run Python. And the script name will be here. That's it. Now the script that I'm using, it looks like this. Let me just open it. So this is a fairly simple script that I'm using for the testing purpose. It will just print 10 numbers. It will first create a list using list comprehension for the first 10 natural numbers. And then it will just print the list. Now you might wonder why do we even need to do that? Why cannot we just do this? Go to the folder, uh, write Python and the name of the script and press enter. Press enter. Why do we even need to do that? The reason being because we also think about other people. I mean, why won't we? We're good people, right? Consider the situation. You are a taggy. You always work on Python, SQL, machine learning, all the fancy stuff that you can think about. But suppose this application is going to be run uh, by a non-tech person a non-tech employee, a good friend of yours that you might not like anyway. So in this specific case, if a, if a person doesn't know Python, then we cannot tell him to do this every time, right? We will be frustrated. Even I would be. So we're going to move ahead and do some kind of easier work. We will not try to make the things easy, but we'll do the easier things. So yeah, let's get into this. So for converting the .py file into an executable, a Windows executable application, we're going to be using the PyInstaller library that comes under pip. So you can go to command prompt or the Anaconda navigator and you can just write pip install PyInstaller. Now I've already installed it. So it's going to say that requirement already satisfied. I know, I know I'm keeping things satisfied. Okay. So I will already have it installed, but it might take some time for you to get it installed. And once you have installed it, what you need to do is you just go to the file location where the file is located. So my file is located in uh, this folder. And you can also check by typing the dir, which stands for directory command. That will give you information about all the files located in that specific folder. So we have the test script.py file up here. So now what we are going to do is we're going to type by installer and we're going to give it a command uh, specifically a cli argument that would say that we would just want one executable file so we'll even put one file the short form for one file is hyphen f and then we put in the name of the python script that we want to be converted as an executable now we press enter and it's going to take some time a few moments later now let's do one thing uh let's see if the executable works now the executable if, if the executable works we should see a list getting printed out so we go to the same folder that we have our test script located we go to the list folder let's just cut it and put it in the same folder we refresh and then we run again yeah something came up but i think it was too quick the windows closed uh, the window closed quite quite quickly so what we're going to do is we're going to edit this file and add some uh, sleep into it so we're going to import time and after it's printed we're going to make it sleep for let's say 10 seconds here we go and then definitely we need to again run this uh, by installer command in order for it to generate the new executable now you can you may assume that this is one of the you know uh, one of the drawbacks of this that whenever you make changes to a script then you need to just run this again and if you have a larger script it might take a lot of time depending on the hardware power that you have so as you can see it's complete again let's uh, give that another try uh, we have this here uh, let's try running it from this one and so it's printing it's going to sleep for 10 seconds and probably the window will close automatically it would wouldn't it yes it did so there you go we have done it you just need to run one command and then you're good to go a bonus hack so i know a lot of people don't like the command prompt a lot of people don't like the anaconda prompt they don't like working on terminal i have a hack for you 
So here I have a library called AutoPy to EXE. Now this is a kind of um, a GUI interface or a graphical interface that would run the pi install commands in the backend, but uh, it will it will not give you the old look and feel of the terminal. And I know some some people might like that, but yeah, it's just about taste. So again, let's just clear this shit up. So we're going to install the uh, AutoPy to exe again. So install that. You just need to run this command pip install auto exe now some people ask me what do, what do i do if i don't have pip install it's no problem just run pip install pip no don't do that so we run pip install auto pi 2 exe that's a mouthful and we press enter it will take some time i have already i already have it loaded so it's going to say requirement already satisfied if you know what i mean so again we're going to clear that and we're just going to run auto pi 2 exe press enter and it will pop up a graphical interface now you can see the commands that uh, it's running it's basically running these commands on the command prompt pi installer one directory console but you have a gra graphical interface up here you can manually click and select the file that you want to get converted into exe so let's say we select this we want one directory no we want one file you can select here and the command up here will automatically change according to that so we're going to make it uh, one file console based no we're going to hide the console you can even provide a customizable icon to the executable file you can change the settings up here and then we have the test script we have the command da, 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 and we click convert.py2.exe dot exe and it's going to run all the command that pine store was running but it's just a you know kind of a beautiful looking interface i would say that let me know what you think about this uh do you prefer pi installer or do you prefer auto pi to exe to convert your py files your python files into an executable application let me know in the comment section and we have it done it says moving project to this location and you have it completed so we open the output folder uh, it's coming up right here and we have the test script converted with a beautiful icon up here now if you run this it's going to do the same thing as we expected to do so there you go it works works like a charm hope you enjoy this video and please let me know on the topics that you want us to be covered next we are just trying to keep up things as simple as possible and provide you things that you would find useful in your day-to-day -day work hope this was useful uh subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye